Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are taking on lead code uh, challenge, Pascal triangle, so it's a classic uh, problem. So given an integer number uh, of rows, we need to return the first uh, num rows of the Pascal triangle. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with Pascal triangle, uh, let's break it down. So basically uh, the number uh, is the direct sum of two numbers uh, directly above. So for example, here we have uh, those two numbers. So here needs to be two because it's sum of one and one. And here we need to sum these two numbers. So it will be three and same here. So it also be three and here it will be four, here four as well. And here, yes, you guess it, six. So uh, you have like uh, some a border case. So first off, uh, we can handle the case with uh, one row, so it will be just one. If we have uh, two rows, it will be uh, array with uh, one element and then one and one. So in case of two, two rows, uh, yeah, two rows. And then you have uh, some pattern. So as you can see, uh, we can use, for example, Python list comprehension and we uh, create next row by having one on the left side and also one on the right side and middle part will be just uh, summing of the rows. So uh, let's say we have some uh, index. So we know that uh, here will be uh, some two index we need to add. So those will be two directly uh, numbers above that are, yeah, let's say, uh, yeah, those are pointing to the number that is uh, above. So uh, if we have, for example, uh, like list comprehension, it might be, for example, some uh, previous index, so minus one. And also if we iterate for uh, some particular uh, E from obviously one, so uh, it will be uh, here will be uh, I minus one and here will be I. So we will uh, in every place do exactly what a task says. So uh, get the sum of two numbers that are directly uh, above. So yeah, let's uh, implement it uh, in Python. So let me start our uh, coding. So base case will be if num rows is one, we directly return one. So if num row is one, then we return just one. And for second case, initialize the Pascal triangle with the first two rows. So we have Pascal triangle one and one and one. So uh, two first row and iterate through the third row to the num rows. So for i in range two to num rows. So if we have two, we just return Pascal. Otherwise we have more than two. So we calculate the next row. So calculate the next row based on the uh, last row in the Pascal list. So it will be new row and new row will be one and Pascal of previous row J minus one Pascal I J for J in range. And now we have range from uh, one to I. And we also add plus one and we append this new row to our Pascal triangle. And finally we return uh, Pascal. So uh, yes, as you can see here is like a main, uh, main logic and uh, this part update the addition of two numbers for the range. And we also uh, add one on the right side and also one on the left side. So let's run uh, this implementation to see if it's working. So I'm running it and hopefully it will work. So yeah, it's working and we have successfully created a Pascal uh, triangle. And uh, yeah, so we return it in 
Python. So let's run it for unseen cases as well. So hopefully it will work. Yes, so it worked and we beat 79% uh, with respect to memory and also uh, 33 with respect to uh, runtime. So it's efficient and uh, easy implementation. And as you can see, our solution passes all the test cases, even uh, unseen one. So it's always a good idea to run your solution with multiple test cases uh, to make sure it works as expected and submit after the running it once. So, well, uh, that's all for today's challenge. Uh, for Pascal Triangle is a great way to understand how you can use uh, dynamic uh, programming to solve problem uh, efficiently. And remember, uh, it's not just about getting the right answer, but understanding why your solution work and how to implement it in other cases. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding challenges. And as always, stay motivated. Keep coding. See you next time.